Hi, it's uh, Markru162 here. I thought I'd do a bit of a uh, RPG video for a change. I haven't done one in quite some time. Um, I've just had through my uh, Pathfinder Beastry 3 book. And the <laughs> cover on its own is just beautifully done. I mean, this is just an incredible book. Uh, uh, the illustrations in here are overall pretty awesome. Um, I love I love the layout of the book anyway. But uh, yeah, I mean it's what three hundred uh, monsters. Um, there's only one monster in here that I found really poor. But it's the uh, uh, creature on a log. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's in here somewhere, and um, it's pretty poor and pretty dumb to be honest. Unless you're a very inexperienced role player, you're not going to fall for it. Uh, but yeah, this is just beautifully laid out and just a lot of, uh, sorry, it's just the angles a bit. A lot of awesome creatures in this. Uh, from uh, the Atomic there to the uh, what's on the next page, which I'll probably be using. I'm starting my campaign soon. I'm gonna be uh, uh, deck picking up the uh, Inner Sea campaign setting, and I've already decided to stay at a. Uh, Coastal fishing village, uh, and there's going to be some sort of hunt with the uh, campaign. Start of the campaign, they'll be doing some sort of hunt. But the hunt's related to one of the four elements, and there'll probably be a less with the some of the creatures uh, uh, that need that need to be hunted. But uh, they probably will get more if they could capture some of these alive. Uh, more points or something like that. I haven't worked out fully through yet, but um, yeah, that's my uh, early plans on uh, on the campaign. But I can't go too much further with it until I've got the campaign book. Um, I've got I've just done a few rough notes of the village. I've got more to go um, to do with it, so I'll be writing some more stuff with it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just a lot of cool monsters there. Uh, that beetle type thing, as I've already, uh, uh, some of these, i got to be honest, are a little bit hard to pronounce, but the, uh, yeah, so even the Bander Snatch, which is an uh, awesome looking creature, and well, CR17, so, uh, a lot of, uh, Abilities to that one, no wonder at that level. Um, yeah, some of these creatures as well you can actually um, use as player characters. I haven't come across it, you've even got a bogeyman in here. So she is pretty awesome, they've included it. Um, and the oh, brain ooze. It's just another neat looking uh, uh, creature, really. Uh, Cleverous crystals. Uh, a carbuncle. Which uh, has got a uh, it's pretty useless creature to be honest. Uh, I mean, it only does practically one point of damage, but uh, it's got a uh, some abilities like Fatal Faker as a standard action three times per day. A card oracle can teleport as per spell that you mentioned door. Uh, but it leaves, it leaves behind a perfect replica of itself amid a coloured flash and a sound of a sudden choke. Uh, it's an exact replica, and it can actually, um, 
uh, use another but it called a spacious uh, suggestion. I think I've got that pronunciation wrong. But uh, uh, usually it end, could end up uh, uh, fortunate for the uh, character, or it could end up uh, somewhat embarrassing or something like that. Uh, so yeah, interesting uh, creature really. Uh, here's one of the uh, uh, creatures you can play as a character as well, which is the cat folk, which obviously would make good rogues. There's um, rat folk as well in there, so if you're going to have a cat folk and rat folk, they're not really going to get off. They'll just be chasing each other, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it's just, I'm looking at this, and I had a good look last night, and it's just, I mean, they've really have topped themselves with this, uh, but, I mean, it's uh, definitely the best one yet. They seem to just get better and better uh, to do with their monster books. Uh, I really haven't picked up the poor one yet. Uh, to be honest, uh, all the beasts are really top notch, uh, down to the illustrations, to, to most of the creatures themselves. I mean, there's plenty of the sea based creatures as well, you know, and sort of fishmen type creatures, and to the. So, uh, as well. So yeah, it's just such a a uh, great book. Also got Goliath, Clockwork Goliath, uh, uh, to um, uh, somewhat called a cold rider. I mean, if you play in Pathfinder, definitely worth picking up this. If you've never played Pathfinder before, definitely recommend you uh, picking up the core book uh, and just giving it a go. If you want to run it, pick up the core book and definitely at least one of these monstrous compendiums, not be stressed, and just go ahead and give it a try. It's just Really awesome, uh, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I'll just keep showing you creatures. Uh, you can, like uh, Cyclops Giant, to them. Crab Sharks, Eating Crab Shipwrecker. To a demon that looks like an ordinary child, a pretty gruesome type of demon. You know it's what fairly low level. So the so death trappings as well. But, uh mimics traps. Which I I, I do like that that idea of that. Limited with the amount of traps it can replicate, but uh, interesting monster all the same. I mean, yeah, really interesting. It uh, goes through demons as well. Um, uh, plenty of demons. Uh, An ape with wings, which I didn't, I didn't see last time. Must have missed that. Which is interesting. To say the least, um, goes to the devils, dinosaurs, typical dinosaurs. Uh, I'm gonna let it run for 15 minutes actually. Uh, so these could be uh, divs. Uh, we can kill it. Uh, dragon fairies as well. Uh, uh, it's really interesting stuff. Uh, the oriental dragons are in here. 
Uh, Drake's uh, a book, which, as you can see, it sort of looks like a puppeteer, uh, puppeting a skeleton. Just looks very awesome. Uh, Also, it's got other familiars in as well, actually. Um, am I for time? That's okay. Uh, fey creatures, like a fey frog. Which is interesting. Um, flower snails. Just well, honestly, I'm impressed with this product. I really am impressed with it. It's just uh, such an awesome book. I mean, we even got a uh, uh, creatures that uh, you play as characters that uh, these creatures have got uh, Jenny Jan Blood or Jenny Blood. Uh, which I probably will accept the cat like uh, creatures for characters and the ones with the genie blood and the rats even got monkey uh, characters as well creatures to use as uh, characters but um yeah it just really is incredible uh, another some cat with snakes uh, out of it uh, yeah, these creatures, I always almost felt, they just felt a little zelda for me, but so it looks interesting enough. Um, yeah, let's see, let's see if I can find another one of the ones that you can use as characters as well. Um, Yeah, I mean, I really do recommend this. This is a must-buy for Pathfinder, to be honest. Definitely a must-buy. Uh, I just really love this, uh, this but you've got a you know, pal stranger. And what is on the next... Parasite Rock Rock on the next page. Uh, let's see. Let's turn up. Uh, yeah, just loving this book. It's definitely well worth buying. Uh, I just can't come across the other one, any of the other ones that you could use as uh, characters. But never mind. Uh, there's another one. We saw eight, which I was on about, but can. Got Jimmy Blood in. Or Jan, Jan Blood, actually. Uh, yeah, uh, just almost out of time, so uh, there's another creature, Titan type creature. I'm not going to pronounce some of these because they're a bit of a pain to pronounce, some of them. But yeah, it's there's a last one that I'll uh, show you just before I uh, a creature which is called a Vanara, uh, which makes good uh, another good character, so you can use him as a cleric or a monk, particularly it says. But yeah, I um, if there's one beastry you've got to get, you've got to get this. Definitely the beastry crew. Definitely well worth it. I really recommend it really highly. Uh, that's it. Until next time.